Hi, this is Paul Tannehill. We're going to talk in this screencast about the Lynn Benton Community College's Google Apps for Education account, the login page, and also an overview of the interface for Google Docs. First of all, you need to visit googleapps.lynnbenton.edu. I had that loaded up in my browser, and you'll see in the address bar here in a minute it changes to something else. Just remember googleapps.lynnbenton.edu. I'm not logged in, so I need to go over here to the right and click the sign in link. Now, on the login here, it's easy to get confused. All you need to do in the username field is enter in everything to the left of the at symbol in your lynnbenton.edu email address. My regular email address is T A N N A H, but I have my account set up for Paul. Tannehill. Any questions, give me a call, give me an email. Go down to my password field and sign in. Your starter password will be change me and the system will prompt you to change that to something of your own preference. And then basically here's the logged in version of our Google Apps for Education account. Just real briefly, you can, you can move these little modules or widgets or whatever you may want to call them any way you want, but that's not why we're here today. We're here to talk about Google Docs. So it requires like a secondary sign-in, but it's automated to just click right past after you click the sign-in link here. And here we are now in the Google Docs interface. Over here on the right, the, the main area of the content area is just a listing of all the files, all the documents and spreadsheets and presentations I've uploaded or created within my Google Docs account. Over here on the left are a bunch of folders that I've created, named them according to instructors that I work with or departments or programs or courses that I'm working on. So when you first log in you won't have, this will all be blank of course, and you won't have any folders. You'll have basically the generic area of all of your items not in folders. Okay, briefly, you can create from within Google Docs a new document, presentation, spreadsheet, form, or folder. There's also some, some real nice templates we don't really cover in this course, but they're free, free to explore. We'll talk about them in a face-to-face -face workshop sometime soon, I'm sure. Okay, before we close out this segment, let's take a look at the different file types we can upload. And right over here is some area of interest here. You might make a note of the different file types you can upload. One quick information is that Google Docs will only handle Word 2003, I should say Office 2003 for Windows, and Office 2004 for Mac. It isn't set up yet to handle Office 2007 for Windows or Office 2008 for Mac files. So if you've got the newest version of either Office product, you want to save down to the previous version. Basically you have your browse button to go and browse for individual files and as you upload, we'll be doing this by the way in a, in a segment coming up here, but basically when you, um, if you forgo this field right here where the cursor is blinking to name it, the system will just simply name your file according to how it's named on your computer. Before I close this out, one little handy thing here we'll touch on later on too. This is an email address that the Google Apps account has created specifically for my account. And if I want to, from right there within Word, or even as an email attachment from within my email program, I can email an attachment directly into my account to this email address. And it will appear in my, let's go back to Google Docs, it'll appear in this interface. So that's just a brief overview of the Lynn Benton Google Apps for Education start page and the Google Docs interface. We'll get more in depth later.